You tell me what you want to do around the green. I'm just hitting shots. Right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah, we'll yeah. just we'll just Perfect. go with a mix and I'll just you know even just talking about the shot you're playing now. Well, I just called it. So most people would want to fire this really <laughs> high, but you're firing these in low, so I think that's a good talking point, really. I'm just spinning it. So we've got what 30 yards here. How do you? I mean, in in tournament play, John, what would you do here? How do you play this shot to? So well, a lot, a lot is dictated by the lie. Uh, we're lucky that in, when we're really in as Bermuda grass, that's down the grain. Uh, there'll be a big difference between hitting it here and into the yes. grain. Uh, yeah. But because we're down grain and the grain is a little bit uphill, uh, you can put some spin on it. Uh, I kind of just feel the shots usually. Uh, I don't know how the players might do it, but I like opening the face and then putting my hands really far forward and just keeping that angle. Uh, you know, I don't know how to release very well. I don't know how to spin it with release. Yeah. So I'm quite aggressive by keeping the face open. I'm a little short. Yeah, but made it over still. It's interesting when you're playing that. They're not, as you said, it's his shaft length forward and you're holding that angle on. Yeah. But you're not taking a massive divot, are you? No. Uh, if you think about it, if you hold this angle, it's, it's going to come in steep, but it's going to be shallow through. Mm -hmm. If you release it at some point is when you go in a little bit deeper. Yeah. Uh, Helps having the face open as well. To use exactly. Yeah. If, if, if that's why I keep it open. Yeah. yeah. I, I try to create that aggressive contact, but still shallow. There we go. Yeah. I mean, that's nice. what lofts this. That's 60. That's 60 degrees spinning pretty cool. out you wouldn't go any higher than that loft wise. Oh, I, uh, no. You got 64, no. tried no. that. I mean, I could try to hit a little bit higher. You play the shot higher. And that's when you get your hands releasing a little bit more. But you definitely feel comfortable seeing it going in flighted and yeah, sort of in, head height. Yeah. I mean, I maybe wouldn't go that low. I'm exaggerating it, but <laughs> uh, I'll probably be somewhere in between the last two shots. Something like that. That'd be cool. Should we go? Let's go to this other one. Let's go to this. So if you've got yeah. a little bit more green to work with, what's your thoughts here? So Sim what I would do, because it's hard to feel it, right? I'll make sure I know the steps or the distance to the pin and then pick a spot. So in this case, if I want to land it uh, on line with the pin where the shadow starts, yep. uh, I'll count the paces from there to the pin to then know how far I need to land it on. And it'll be a pretty straightforward shot. You don't need to spin it here, right? Uh, you got plenty of green. So pretty much square in, square through. Very similar to what I just did there, but with a square face. Okay. Not, not as forward with my hands. Pretty and much just let it release. That shadow, didn't it? Yeah. Missed the break a little bit, but yeah, that would be the idea. So do you like to just feel on the through swing then, John, that everything's fairly quiet with the hands and everything's more passive and it's In more those body? shots, yeah. Yeah, in those shots. I, I don't, you know, I like having my hands forward and just feel like I'm dragging the edge of the club with me to make sure I'm turning left. When I start thinking about hands too much is yeah. when I stop my body and it just doesn't happen very good. Yeah. yeah. It does, sometimes when I'm into the grain, I do need to learn how to shallow it out. So I will release it a little bit more, but still complicated for me <laughs> right I, I will feel like i'm releasing up here yeah. yeah but i'm really not doing that there's a feeling i get the feel versus the real yeah and just comes out higher with less spin it's hard to do it is yeah, it is on this well, yeah it's very i mean the same shot over here will come out very different it's amazing you're like a foot away there the difference in yeah but isn't shots. isn't isn't that important though so obviously you play prams and you see the guys mm -hmm. out there the amateur golfers, you know, a lot of them don't assess the lie and they, they only have one way of doing it anyway, really. So yeah, I I, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a big difference, no, assessing the lie, right? I mean, you can, we all, let's say be, between three feet, you have three completely different lies yeah. and they're going to behave completely different. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you can approach each shot the same way. Uh, you're going to be able to spin one of them. The other two are going to release and you're going to have to adjust the technique to each one of them. Right. So it's, uh, at the same time, you need to learn the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still, if you only have one shot, well, you just still need to adjust. Uh, if you want to do the same technique, you know, these two are not going to spin, and this one will. So how would you, you know that. How would you play this one here? So that's in a divot, basically. Uh, honestly, not that different from what I just did over there. Okay. Uh, because I come in pretty steep in that shot itself, so I wouldn't change open. it. Maybe I feel like I'm digging the heel more into the ground. Yeah. Okay. Just to get underneath the ball, but I wouldn't change much. Because that's a hard shot that was. A little well, short. I actually got it much better than I thought. It wasn't that deep, but, it, but yeah, I, I know what I know what you're trying to do. Like that's right pretty there. hard. Do you fancy that one? <laughs> that's a pretty, I don't not like that one. Right up your I'd have got that, that one out with my knee. <laughs> never mind the club. How about this flag over here, John? What were you thinking here? What would you go here? Would it be similar again? Ah, uh, 
Well, the one thing we have going for us is that it's up the hill. Right? Okay. So you can be a little bit aggressive and not be too scared of going very far over. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I mean, you can hit a little higher with, you know, not much spin. I can hit it again lower with spin. Uh, it all depends on what I feel at the moment. Uh, it would probably be something that doesn't spin that much just because you know you want to give it a chance to get to the pin. Yeah. If you're playing with spin, it, it's kind of hard to get an uphill shot. I really like how John, a beautiful shot. I mean, you can see how much <laughs> spin that's got on there. I really yeah, like how you open, that face is open. And I think for a lot of the amateurs, if yeah. they were to open that face and allow the back edge of the club to actually bounce and glide through the, the Yeah, a lot turf. of the pros, you watch them go square and then they open the face yeah. and keep it open, right? I mean, we kind of look like this. Which is nice. No, it's a very good shot, but I'm not that comfortable doing no, it no. always, especially because yeah. I bow my wrist. Yeah, of course. So what I do is I open it, I set the club early, and then all I'm feeling is this. Like this yeah. is, it's, it's basically like feeling this. Yeah. I'm the hands on, the wrists else. aren't really doing a lot, are they? Yeah. Slow-mo this on my phone, because this is cool, this shot. And it just shows, doesn't it, that you know, ultimately creating this, or using the bounce, there's a way you can do it in the swing by using the wrists, mm -hmm. or you can take it out of it by opening the face and, and being more passive. Yeah, that, that's just kind of how I feel like, I like doing it, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, my lower body's open, so that way I can just focus on using my arms. They are quite forward as well. And it's still shallow with plenty of spin, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not like it's being aggressive. It's still, I get a lot of spin with a pretty simple shot. And it's interesting, most amateur golfers in this situation, Pierce, they see a tight flag and they'll automatically think they've got to, ah, they've already, got to help it up and then it's yeah, dangerous. Everybody's thinking on this, right? Exactly, yeah. That's, that's what everybody starts thinking on. <laughs> Maybe you should. All right, let's watch you, let's watch you play one more because we've got Matt Wolf over there who's about to show us how to hit a driver. Won't be as good as you with your driving last year, by the way, obviously. Oh, I know, right? We're not, we're not taking Matt on knowing a long drive no. contest. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> so we'll see this check to the right. Beautiful. There, there he goes. I mean, that's quality, Beautiful. that is. I mean, there's so loads good. of different shots there, loads of variety. Do yeah. You, do you feel, so if you were, <laughs> if you're trying to hold this, are you thinking, is it because it's a little bit left to right that you're allowing for that little check? Or would you almost be allowing for left to right when it hits the ground anyway? Well, it's a left to right break, so. But if there was no break, would you feel that the spin would be a little bit left to right when you yeah, hit it? Yeah, it would. You, I mean, as much as you try to keep it, you know, with straight spin, it's pretty, it's pretty difficult. Right? I, I could, if I was trying to make it, I might go a little bit more square. Okay. Yeah. And Come on, then I see you hit one more. Yeah, if I go a little bit more square, I'd do the same thing, but put the ball up on my stance trying to get some height. And then allow for the break. Yeah, that was good. I mean, it's obviously the odds of holding it's it are difficult, right? <laughs> I love the way he's just talking know, through it. It's going, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that, and I'll do this, yeah, and like five feet, two player. feet, one foot. <laughs> it just keeps going like, you know, you're going to tap all those in. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, if I were really trying to hold it, that would be the way trying to keep it straight. Do you, do you know what? There oh, that's go. just a little, break, little bit of break. Oh, he had to hit the pitch oh. mark. <laughs> Hit the pitch nice. mark. Should have fixed it. Do me a favour, let's do one more. I'll have the same with one more. Can we put one here? What would you do here? On a slight downhill lie. Slight? No, you play. This is a slight <laughs> downhill lie. This is a slight downhill lie. Where am I going? Uh, whichever one you want. Let's go, uh, let's go that one over there. Well, the only good thing, oh, this, this Bermuda grass is that you, yeah, if you stay here, so it's going to be a good lie. Okay. Uh, you can get it higher on the it. face, can't you? you can get the ball coming out yeah, the face. Yeah, I, I still open the face and try to make an aggressive swing. It's going to come out low, but you're trying to spin it at this point, yeah, right, yeah. in that case. So, okay. I mean, I'll So you're getting see. a flag on yeah. the left then. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, like everything, it's open and my hands are always forward. I like to create that aggressive angle early. early. It's still a bit of a hidden hope. <laughs> What's this? Hope, I'm hoping. <laughs> There yeah, we go. That's yeah. quality. It's just made that look ridiculous. Sure, you want to hit one more? <laughs> you know, I don't want to see any more, Pierce, but I feel bad about He's my game now. making me feel sick. <laughs> if I repeat it, yeah. If I don't, it might. Come on, you can do it then. Let's, let's go one more. Let's finish in style. This is awesome. Well, that's got more spin too. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty. Spin, <laughs> yeah. Even, yeah. even yeah. he's happy with that one. Yeah. There. <laughs> John. Great seeing Thank you. Thank you, John. Yeah, cheers. Good, Good luck next you. season. Thank you. Appreciate we'll see you in Dubai. What's actually. the, what's the plans? What, what are you? Away. What's the season like next year? Is it a big season for you? Long season, sorry. It, it's a long season for everybody. Yeah. Uh, and between now and and Ryder Cup, I am getting married twice to the same person. So. 
different countries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure so, that so one out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm adding a little bit more, you know, more and more. Not stress, but a little bit more thanks to the year. So, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's busy. We have a lot going on, especially early on. You know, the way they've changed the schedule, now you have Olympics. It's, it's basically, it's hard to really have a break. Yeah. Uh, especially after the Masters, so okay. it's, uh, it's looking forward to the Good. year. Yeah. Well, Good. Don't forget when we see you in Dubai this year, because we'll be there again okay. when you win, then we get the invite to Augusta because every time we see you, you win, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> no, okay. If you, uh, uh, well, that's if that happens, if I, if I win, you have it. There we go, John. See, see you soon, yeah. Thank Thanks. You. Safe travels, yeah. See Thank you. Later. We hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Now, if you want to have some more coaching from myself and Pierce, we have some incredible coaching plans over at meandmygolf.com. Yes, we do. We've got break 100, break 90, break 80, plus our brand new iron plan. So all you have to do is click the link down below in the description to get started today.